Over the past month, I have been charging frozen lithium iron phosphate batteries to see if there is any damage done to the cell. I used this small 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery because it freezes faster than big prismatic cells like this one. That allowed me to speed up the test without waiting forever for the batteries to freeze. Before freezing, I ran two capacity tests. The first result was 20.13 amp hours and the second test was 20.1 amp hour. So that's nearly identical and that gave us a solid baseline. I froze the battery for at least two days at minus 18 degrees Celsius or zero degrees Fahrenheit. I then took it out and charged it. And that's where the damage will happen. After the charger showed zero amps, I took it off the charger and put it on the capacity tester to see how much capacity it had lost. Cycling was done from 2.5 volts to 3.65 volts, which is typical for a lithium iron phosphate battery. Charging had a limit of 10 amps through the bench power supply. As you will soon see, it never reached 10 amps. And this charging was done at 10 amps with the capacity tester. So both at a 0.5 C rate. I repeated this test several times and record the capacity after each cycle. Here are the results of the tests. As you can see, there is not much difference between the recorded capacity. Cycle 1 and 2 were the control tests, where the battery was charged at room temperature. All the following cycles were done with the battery fully frozen for at least 2 days before charging. Now let me show you another version of the graph with the vertical axis zoomed in. Here you can see that the capacity is going down, but only slightly, by a few percent after 10 frozen charges. I repeated the same test with another cell, and I saw similar results. Now, what happens if we continue this trend line after, let's say, 100 frozen chargers? It would look like this. At 100 frozen chargers, we expect to get about 15 amp hours left in the 20 amp hour cell, or about 25% lost capacity. So over time, this adds up. So what do these numbers mean? Charging a frozen lithium iron phosphate battery does cause some damage, but honestly, I didn't expect the effect to be this small. I have clients who ask me if they need a heated battery for when they are away during the winter. So the battery will get stored frozen. I advise them to disconnect the solar panels and let them sit at around 50% charge without needing a heated battery. Another thing I noticed is that charging went really slowly with a frozen cell. Let's test it out. We only get about 5 amps for the frozen cell, which I just took out of the freezer. Let's now test with a normal cell. And we can see the current is limited by the bench power supply. That's because of the internal resistance increases. The electrons are moving really slowly because they are frozen. We can also see this reflecting in the internal resistance of the battery. I also read in a research paper that charging while frozen can cause swelling of the cell due to internal damage. But I haven't seen that happen yet. It might just take a few more cycles to show up. I'm editing this video and I forgot to mention several things. Most modern batteries have a built-in temperature sensor that stops charging if the battery is too cold. So you will not experience this degradation. This video 
was just about seeing the amount of damage that has been done to the battery. If your batteries are in freezing conditions, use a heated battery or insulate them. Do not place your battery directly on concrete. Put something underneath to block the cold. Lithium iron phosphate batteries perform best around 25 degrees Celsius. Discharging is ok down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. It's charging that's the problem. Back to the video. So yes, charging a frozen lithium iron phosphate battery isn't ideal. It slowly reduces the capacity and it will cause damage. But based on this test, the effects are less severe than I expected. The charging speed will just slow down. If you found this video interesting, give it a like and consider subscribing. And I think you might like this video next. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.